is Jimmy Martin. I'm a Drogheda United supporter. I've been supporting Drogheda now from when I was 18. And I won't tell you many years that is. And I hope to be supporting them until uh, the day I die. When I was growing up, my dad played with Drogheda United. And uh, the interest was he was the goalkeeper and uh, I followed in his footsteps and we went to the games to see him playing and I was only a kid at the time which is a good boy to go and uh, I just uh, got so interested in it that I kept uh, contact with Drawley United. Earlier on we were down in Lord Stadium that's where Drawley FC was. Uh, where we are now Drawley United had uh, a junior team here in 1975, they got, got together, the two clubs got together and um, had meetings to put an amalgamation. And uh, after a lot of to and fro, they decided that they would uh, merge together. My first memory was of going up there with a crowd of lads, having a bit of a crack, uh, supporting the club, and uh, we'd done it from then on and most of the people that's going to the football nowadays would be that type of person. But uh, memories would be just going down to the Lord's Stadium every Friday night and uh, we used to go down there and support them and uh, that was the way it was. A lot of the players that played here were local people and people tended to follow the local people because we played football with them and we, you know growing up we played football with them so when the uh, got onto the Drawdy United team, we all came up and supported them. The community always stuck together and it was just, it was just a part of going up here on a Friday night and having the... Now there was never any mad, mad banter or anything like that, but it was just, it was just a community. Uh, uh, people talked about it, even though we hadn't got the best team in the world, but it was just something to, to look forward to. We wear the colours, we, we get the scarves, the, the jerseys, the togs, the whole lot, and it generates a lot of money. But money is a big problem in football now. Now there is, a, there is probably 10, 12 volunteers that just works for nothing and helps, helps do things. Uh, anything that's asked of them, they'll do it. You have one chap that goes in, wherever the ball goes, he follows it. Uh, one chap. Uh, Liam Ray is a chap there that does the, uh, he does the in and outs for the referees. Uh, they could be collecting, putting the, the, the nets up, putting the, putting the flags up. We look forward, we look forward to the, to the, the game, the supposed we're in the town with the people that you know, that goes to the games. And uh, we have some local players playing now, and which keeps the interest of Toronto people. But uh, it's just, uh, it, it's, a, it's not a huge build up, but you'll always put the time back, put your, your time saying, oh, if someone says, are you doing this tonight? No, we're going to the football. Football always came first. What makes it special is it's your home club. It's uh, it was always, as I say, it's a centenary year this year. It was a it's a home club, and uh, you get that buzz when you come up here and you're talking to the guys and the, the, the chanting starts and uh, it's just something that it sticks in your head the whole time. And we are genuine, genuine supporters. The people that we are with and most of the people that come is night after night every week. And now I'm not a great way supporter, but I do. I was in my younger days, but not now. Uh, I look forward to the Friday night or Saturday games and it's just a, a buzz the way it is now at the moment. <laughs>